Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Thursday, May 27th, 2021. And we begin with proof that moms sometimes make their own rules. In the waters off New Zealand, a bottlenose dolphin has apparently taken a baby whale under her flipper in what appears to be a cross-species ocean adoption. The unlikely duo has been spotted together twice, several weeks apart, which leads marine biologists to believe they might have joined up after losing their own loved ones. There will soon be a big size difference, but scientists don't think it'll break their special bond. While the dolphin mom is already fully grown, the baby pilot whale is not, and its species is known to top out at 19 feet long and 4,000 pounds. Although uncommon, scientists have seen this kind of pairing before. Likely, the two will stick together for about five years, or until the whale learns to hunt on its own. Usually, it's baseball players getting all the glory. On Tuesday night in Chicago, it was umpire Joe West, who called his 5,376 game, breaking a major league record that had stood since 1941. The historic moment was booked in the fifth inning when the game is considered official and was marked per Joe's request with the San Diego Chicken presenting him with a bouquet of flowers. A video of current and former umpires congratulating him aired on the big board and just about every player on each team showed their respect. According to Joe, it was tough to hold back a tear or two, but Tom Hanks said there's no crying in baseball, so you can't do it. Joe paid for 116 of his family and friends to join him for the occasion, later telling a reporter it was by far the most expensive game he ever umpired. The U.S. just hit a big vaccine milestone. According to the CDC, half of all American adults are now fully vaccinated. Since many of them are teachers, and because the number of infections is falling coast to coast, There's optimism for back to school. Dr. Anthony Fauci told a House of Representatives committee on Tuesday that regardless of when the vaccine is available for kids, it will be safe for them to return full blast to in-person learning by this coming fall. While the U.S. starts to enjoy something close to normalcy, the same cannot be said of Japan. Cases there continue to spike, and now one of that country's biggest newspapers is calling on Tokyo to cancel the upcoming Summer Olympics. The Asahi Shimbun is the first of Japan's major publications to say it's time to pull the plug. Going public against the Games is a pretty big deal because the paper is also an Olympic sponsor. Despite the editorial, there is no indication the International Olympic Committee or local organizers have any plans to listen, and the Japanese government said a warning by the U.S. to avoid travel to that country would have no impact on holding the Games. In other Kid News notes, the supermoon may be behind us, but now there's another super bright reason to sky gaze before bed. Venus is showing off a bit this week after months of being hidden by the sun's glare. All you have to do for an eyeful of the evening star planet is look up 30 minutes after sunset. In the night sky, only the moon will be brighter. And it's a tale timeless as an everlasting gobstopper. But sorry, Charlie, this upcoming movie's all about Willy Wonka as a young man. Timothy Chalamet has been tapped to star as the up-and-coming inventor of creations like lickable wallpaper, rivers of chocolate, and fizzy lifting drinks. The film Wonka is the third movie inspired by the 1964 classic Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That's it for Kid News. Now, our Kid News quiz. A bottlenose dolphin seems to have adopted what in the waters off New Zealand? A baby pilot whale. How many games has Joe West umpired to set a new baseball record? Five thousand three hundred seventy six and counting. According to the CDC, what percentage of U.S. adults are fully vaccinated? Fifty. 
Where did a major paper just call for the Olympics to be canceled? Japan. And one for the road. Even Thor gets humbled from time to time. Actor Chris Hemsworth, who plays the superhero on the big screen, posted a picture of one of his twin boys wearing a red cape. The conversation that went with it? Son, what do you want to be when you grow up? The answer was not what he was hoping for. Instead of Thor, it was DC Comics' Superman. Mr. Hemsworth laughed off the exchange posting, Lucky I have two other kids, meaning two other chances to keep the answer in the family. Before we go, some big kid news shout-outs to our teachers, starting with Mr. Mack at Dr. G.J. McGillivray in Bowman, Ontario, where his sixth graders rock. Mrs. Morris and her Spartans at Timberline Elementary in Weipe, Idaho. Mrs. Valencia's fifth graders at Buena Vista in Del Rio, Texas. Mrs. Williams and her students at New Haven Elementary in New Haven, Missouri. And Mrs. Yonkers at Plank South Elementary in Webster, New York. One more note, Monday is Memorial Day, a chance for Americans to pause and remember those who lost their lives while serving in the U.S. military. It dates back to the Civil War when it was known as Decoration Day. Always falls on the last Monday of May and has been a federal holiday since 1971. Our team is taking a four-day weekend this year. We hope you stay safe and healthy, and we'll see you back here for more Kid News Tuesday morning. 